and it, it won't be once a day, twice a day, very many hours, long hours, every single day. That costs you directly from your pocket. So I was looking through these pressures of our time, you know, and I'm saying, how can we break through this? And by the way, when I talk about wedding parties, even those who wed, the weddings are humongous. You know? They cost a lot of money because you have to do it better than the one who did it before. You know? And now, I think our society needs a, an introspection. We need to look deeper into what does this mean beyond and above the monetary factor. You know, the incomes we have versus the pressures. And are these really necessary? Do we have to be at every baby shower? Do we have to be at every baptism? You know, can't we call John John and we go home? You know, just for a tea party? You know, do we have to carry stuff and all? Now, if it fits into your budget, go ahead and do it. Please, do not even hear me on this if it fits your budget but if it does not i think it's about time to call a friend and say hello you know things are not working well don't hate me for not appearing let's be honest with ourselves and i'm saying this because i care i care about people who want to be everywhere at all times it puts pressure on your health itself you know it puts pressure on your income. Okay, so I think it is important that we become clear on this. You know? Now, hello Florence, how are you? So, these things are here and it's up to us. You know? In America here, a wedding could be five people. You know? These are immediate family and friends, not a network of anything. Now, we are still in Africa. It's a socially connected country, you can, country, continent. So everybody knows everybody. That's understandable. But hello, hello, Nantume. Now, but that said, we need to be realistic with our incomes because this is all our... When are you going to build a life? When are you going to build your home? You know, you see? With all these expenditures, because this is about expenditure. Okay? Abazungu babibuka. If you have a Zoom, things that are about spending, no. And it is important. You know? So, I want us to be very realistic with ourselves and look at the pressures that, and they will be coming. Trust me, they are coming. You buy a car, then there is a pimp, pimp my car, you need to pimp your car, you need to buy bigger rims, you need to buy bigger this, bigger this, everything. Is going to be very you see when you're talking about the economics of com, co consumerism you know business aims for your brain you know okay the business people aim for your brain they go for your pocket you know, and they know what will break you you know so the shops are open for you take you pay later okay now that is where the problem comes and these things are coming in Uganda, you watch, you, know, you you will be telling me. The shops will be clean glass and you'll be seeing things from the streets, okay? Open, you know? And that means that once those things are open for you, for you are taking, you'll have to pay, you know? It is not a matter of question. You will have to pay sooner or later. Hello, hello. Bananche Eme, how, how are you? So... For me, my input in this is let us be very, very clear with who we are as a people. How much do we earn? How much do we spend? Be, 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 because Abazungu, they talk about annual incomes. Mumuako Korameka. Not daily. Sivya Diru Diru, because if you are Diru, not Sivyangu. America, you know, you have to know your paycheck. You have to know how it's going to be broken down. And it matters. So, my fellow people, let us be very, very keen on that, and uh, it may help someone. You know, if you know how much you make and how much you are going to spend, it will be critically important. Then I'm going to the elephant of the week, 
who is Zake. My fellow friends, you know, I I've been listening to something that the preachers talk about that never fight your wars. Let God fight your wars. I think I have come full circle to appreciate that fact. That statement is very, very powerful. I think God has been fighting for President Museveni in ways that no one can beat. I listened to two people. I listened to Chagurani and I listened to Zake. Chagurani said that everybody thinks that Museveni is splitting us. That no, 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 no. We are splitting ourselves. Museveni was not there. He did not compare him to say that, but he said it. And he was right. No. Okay. Then Zake appeared on an international stage. Much as Voice of America was trying to promote the enemies of the government of Uganda, guess what? God delivered the powerful punch that blew both, you know, Mr. Zake and the Voice of America at the same time. It couldn't be any worse, you know, for a man. And he was promoting the idea of youthfulness. And the president has already said this. You know, he said, don't confuse ideology, you know, okay, with biology. Being young has nothing to do with being smart. You have to be blessed you know, to be young and smart. But it's not, you know, a fact that when you are young, you are smart. And Zaki proved to us on camera. And sorry for him, it will play for the rest of his life. His children will watch it. Okay, how he performed on an international stage. And he was telling people that the president buys them, buys his friends. The president is buying our friends. Why would the president spend money? when you can perform like that. Honestly, why would Museveni spend money when you are performing like that at an international stage? Okay? Now, let me tell you, I, I had many friends of mine saying the English was bogus. Word. It had nothing to do with English. Let me tell you, Pastor Bujingo preaches in Luganda and he has the authority about the language, which is not his mother language, but he will convince you to believe him 100%. Meaning, if they say that what is full in the heart will spill out comfortably in the mouth. This man was locked in an idea which he wanted to bring forth. And he did not care about the question. All he wanted to do was to say that the government is in, you know, torturing us. And guess what? He did not listen. He was not paying attention to the question. You can go back and forth and review that. You know, I know what that means by looking at that man. All that was running, playing in his head, he had a record that he you know, played to himself. And he just answered. Okay? So, continued, 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 continued. Continued, continued. Terrorism, whatever, you, you know. Now, that was the performance of a member of parliament. Now, I said this before that the president of Uganda, Museveni, may it not cure our problems, but he has given us an opportunity to know our disease. Our disease in Uganda is sectarianism, you know, Voting for people because you know them this much, you know, because they buried you are who and who, and you are not following the quality, you know. And the end point is what you get. You, know? you have someone who travels. You know? and, and I'm sure they have squabbles within their party that they cannot front someone who, who spells out the right things. You know? Because Zakai, suppose he's a, he's a rich man, he comes from a good family with money. So he can buy his ticket to America and he will bulldoze people and say, I'm going to appear, you know, much less, you know, wh wh whatever he says has no consequence. So there he was. Now, let's be clear. 
I have seen this playing around and everybody's trying to dance around. Politics 